a common question I get is, how do you have students do voiceovers in Google Slides? So you do your presentation and you have the students record their voice and whatnot. And that's not really built into Google Slides. It never has been. Uh, but there are some newer options that make it a little more feasible. In the past, I would just tell teachers, screencastify the whole presentation. Well, students struggled with that as well because they couldn't really edit their videos very well unless you had a subscription to a resource that allowed for video editing. So there's a better option now. Screencastify every single slide, and then you can also insert the video from Google Drive, and you can also autoplay those videos so that way they automatically kick on. All right, so I'm going to go through those steps on how to make that happen. And feel free to show this to your students if you want them to do the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Screencastify for my first part here. I'm going to go ahead and load it up. It really doesn't matter what format you do. If you want to do a tab, desktop, or camera, either way, I'm going to make sure that I have my microphone selected here. And I'm just going to do a tab. And uh, by the way, the quick launch for Screencastify is Alt-Shift-R. So I'm going to go ahead and just use that to get this launched. And I'll do this as slide one. So here we go. Alt-Shift-R. R. Three, two, one. This is my presentation about Google Slides and the video options that you have available. And I stopped that video. Oh, give me a second. I just stopped that video with Alt Shift R as well. So I just hit that to start it, hit it to stop it, and then it's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Google Slides Video options one. I want to name that one because that's on my first slide. I'll go ahead and do the next slide. Here we go. I'm going to close this out like so and move on to slide two and get ready to do this one. Alt shift R. Three, With the new video options, you have the ability to utilize autoplay. So that way, when you're in presentation mode, it'll automatically start playing a video. And I hit Alt-Shift-R to stop it. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. We're going to say Google Slides Video Options 2. I'll move on to slide number 3. Okay, so I have all my videos done. Now what I need to do in this presentation is I need to insert those videos. So I'm going to go to insert video and I'm going to go to my recent and look at that. They're all in order recently. These are still processing, so give them time. I'm going to go ahead and select my first one. I have this set at recent so that way they are in order. I'll go ahead and select those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video. I'm going to make it super small like so and put it in the bottom corner you could put it wherever you wanted and i'm going to go ahead and hit video options i'm going to choose autoplay and then the other thing i'm going to do is go on to the next one and insert video i'll do the second one make it small and just do this for every single one and put the appropriate video. I'm going to hit video options, autoplay. I'm going to do this for every single slide. My videos. Okay, now I have all my videos inserted. As you can see, they're very tiny and this will not work until I go into presentation mode. But when someone shares it, then they can go ahead and they can hit present. It'll automatically play the videos as you switch from slide to slide. This is my presentation about Google Slides and the video options that you have available. Video over, and then I can just go on to the next slide. I can hit the arrows or click on it. It goes on to the next one. It'll start playing automatically. With the new video options, you have the ability to utilize autoplay. So that way, when you're in presentation mode, it'll automatically start playing a bit. Oh, cut me off a little bit there. I must have hit it a little early. It's OK. Not only can you use autoplay, but you can 
also trim your video. You can have a certain starting point or an ending point, whether it's a video from YouTube or a video from Google Drive. If you really wanted to, you could even mute your audio. Go on to the next one. I encourage you to just try it. Jump right in, insert a video, and try out the video options feature so that way you can see what's available for you. And there you have it. I'll hit escape to get out of this. And that's how you can do a voiceover on every slide. So I encourage you to try out some of the new options as far as autoplay and the possibilities that it holds for your students and their projects and the cool things that they can do with it.